Hey there everyone. So, uh, I'm gonna go back to a subject that I had tried to cover a few months ago, but uh, the videos just kept turning out terribly. Uh, but we're gonna give it another go. This is a, uh, a deposit security bag I picked up uh, quite cheaply in an office supply store a while ago. Uh, I use it uh, to carry locks and tools and things when I go to lock sport meetings, just because it's a bag but it has a lock built in, so I get one uh, free, essentially. Uh, now what this is, is essentially it's a reinforced nylon bag with this big heavy-duty uh, metal zipper here. For some reason the packaging claimed that this was a pick-resistant zipper. I, I really don't know what that means. But, uh, if the camera can pick it up, what we have here is the actual lock. Uh, stamped on this section here is 7-pin tumbler and the manufacturer's information uh, MMF Industries Wheeling, Illinois uh, now looking at the key here it does actually appear to be a you know 7-pin lock if you just count uh, the number of spaces they have for pins and the way it works is you zipper it most of the way closed, you take the, the key, stick it into the lock here, and turn it, and this little catch will pop up, it reveals this cutout inside there, and you zipper the thing the rest of the way closed, seat it in there, and if it cooperates, you just push that little button back down and now you can re remove the key because it is a key retaining lock and now the zipper is held in place there so looks pretty serious right you know uh, this is a bag designed to carry money to the bank or something seems fairly heavy duty it's not exactly a light uh, container but uh, you know, I mean, this is still nylon. You can probably cut it with a good sharp knife or a pair of scissors or something. You can pull the stitching out, whatever. But uh, we don't want to destroy this. We want to be able to use it afterwards. So let's say that you've lost the keys, or as I've done once or twice, I've actually locked the keys inside this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, Peterson pry bar light, stick one end in there, so this is just a little too thin for the full si for the original pry bar, and we're going to take our flat tipped uh, hook, we're just going to reach in there and feel around. Just keep... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Seven pins and we didn't even have to pick them all. And we've got it open. So, you know, this might uh, this might be a deterrent to very very casual theft by I don't know your employee that you send to the bank every day uh, to do a cash drop or you know if you just wanna wanna stop like the most basic forms of opportunity theft I'm sure it'll work fine for that but don't you know don't rely on this too much any form of physical security requires not just having a good lock, which this isn't, but having all sorts of other things in place. Having a, a guard or a reliable uh, person to keep an eye on things and be there constantly enough that uh, anyone who would try to pick something like this isn't really going to have the chance. So. Uh, that's it for today, and hopefully soon the video quality will improve because I'm about to get a new camera uh, before this thing totally craps out on me. So until then, uh, have fun, stay legal, stay safe, and happy picking.